Hi, welcome to my channel, Home Cooking with Senior Citizen Sue. And today I am making acorn squash with sausage. Okay, and this recipe is from an old cookbook from 1959. This is Farm Journal's Country uh, Cookbook. So you do not need very many ingredi ingredients. It called for small onions. However, I found these. Uh, it's Frida's Cipollini or Cipollini onions. I'll give you a look at those there. And then here are the onions. And you need some uh, sausage links. Salt and pepper. I don't have any good salt. I still need to get that. Some paprika and then um, some melted butter. Okay, so the, and your oven should be preheating to 375 degrees. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, cut my sausage, which is, oh, um, excuse me, my acorn squash, which is always a scary deal. I do not like cutting uh, squash. I'm always afraid my knife is going to slip. But anyway, let me get cut this and scoop out the insides, and then we'll get to the rest of the recipe. All right, let's cut this and see if I can do it without wounding myself. I just don't like cutting these. All's good. All right. Uh, if you have a better method, let me know. Holy buckets. Hey, Dave. Could you give me some assistance, please? No, I can't even get the knife out. Don't hurt yourself. This snar a knife is extremely sharp. I mean, really sharp. And it's poking out at the end there. The tip. It's not good, no. It's kind of a bummer. Thank you. Okay, here it is. No one was wounded. This is good news. Okay. They aren't quite even, but oh well. My husband does not like acorn squash anyway, so I'm going to be eating this for dinner. And he is having uh, leftovers from yesterday, which was pork chops. I think acorn squash is the worst as far as trying to cut it. Okay, I'm going to melt my butter. And I'm going to wipe the butter or brush it around the edges. Uh, but wait, first I think I'm going to get my onions peeled. These need to be peeled. Yeah, I thought this recipe was really different, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, that one looks good too. All right, let me get this cleaned up a bit and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, my butter has melted. And you can see I have my onions here and I am going to... Baste the onions with a little bit of butter. And the inside of the squash and around the edges. Slopping butter all over. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle the inside of the squash with a little bit of pepper. Each one. And a little bit of salt. Okay, and now comes the interesting part. I'm just going to take the squash, 
and cover the onion. <laughs> kind of like a game of shells. Okay, I am going to cook this at 375 degrees for about 40 minutes or so, could be longer, until this is tender. So I will get my sausage uh, cooked right when these are almost ready to be, right when these are almost done. So I'll be back in a second. All right, the recipe calls for two links per each half of the acorn squash. So I'll need four, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook up half of this package and I'm going to do it in my air fryer because it'll be a whole lot easier. Okay, so I'm going to put them in this pan here. Try to make sure they aren't touching. I don't know if you can see that here. There. Okay, put it in here. I'm going to air fry them. Oh, let me hit menu. Air fry 400 degrees and five minutes on each side. Or you could just shake the uh, the container here rather than turning each one over. Okay, let's see how they look. I already flipped them. Oh, they look pretty good. Okay, I'm going to take them out and put them on a pan or a plate and cover them with tin foil so I can keep them warm because the squash is not quite done yet. It took approximately 45 minutes for these to cook. Now I need to turn them over and smash up uh, some of the squash on the inside. However, you, you can tell they're not gonna stand up so I need to slice off part of the top so it'll stand. There we go. These are definitely, ooh, that one's really squishy. They're hot. Okay. Very hot. Okay. Turn this over if I can. Oh, there's a the little onion. Ooh, this guy's falling apart. I have to lean him up against somebody. That's because this one got split when we were cutting it. Oh, those onions smell good. Okay, now let me get my butter back and my sausage here. So I'm going to smash up the potato, this the potato, the squash a little bit. This one will work out better. Okay, that's good enough. And then they are going to go back into the oven for 10 minutes. So kind of like a twice baked squash like that other item I made the other day. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to put my sausage links on. And you know what, I'm gonna cut them in half. They're right here. Hey Google, stop. There we go. And they are still hot too. There we go. And then you put the onion in the middle. Boy, this one's really falling apart. Yeah, this one might be a lost cause. Oh well, stuff happens, right? Turn it this way. Ah, super duper hot. Okay, that works. Put the onion in the middle. Now I'm going to brush them with butter again. If you make them, hopefully they'll all turn out like this. And if you're better at cutting squash than I am. 
Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of paprika. Okay, they're going back in the oven in 10 minutes and I will be back when they're finished. Okay, check it out. It's beautiful. Let's hope it tastes good. I took the, uh, I put the nice uh, half on my plate so it would look good. Okay, let's uh, dig into this and see how it tastes. Okay, let's give it a taste. And I brought a knife here. I think I might cut apart this onion a little bit. And I have never had this type of onion before, so I have no idea how it's going to taste. Cut the sausage in a smaller piece. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of onion, a little bit of sausage, and a little bit of the squash. It's good, and that paprika on there adds a really nice touch. I think it's really flavorful. If you don't like just plain acorn squash, you are really going to like this. I think it's really, really good. Okay, next week, uh, Thanksgiving is coming up. So I more than likely, I will not have a cooking video this coming Sunday. I will probably be out hiking. Um, if you like hiking videos, uh, check out my hiking channel. It will be uh, down below in the uh, description box and you can check that out because that's what I'm going to be doing next weekend. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and happy Thanksgiving. Bye.